Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Steve's Diesel here. On today's episode, we're gonna be talking about the difference between traditional mountain bikes and e-mountain bikes. This is not a uh, which one's better video, this is just kind of a comparison of them both. So without further ado, let's dive right in. type of bicycle designed for off-road cycling on rough terrain such as trails, single track, and mountain passes. These bikes typically have sturdy frames, large nubby tires, and suspension systems, sometimes just a front suspension fork or a rear suspension, full suspension, and these are designed so that they absorb the shock in riding over rough terrain. These are also designed to be ridden on trails rather than paved roads and are generally built to be durable and rugged, able to withstand the demands of off-road riding. Traditional mountain bikes are popular among both recreational riders and competitive riders and are available on a wide, wide range of styles and price points for diff, different budgets. Like this one is the cheaper spectrum of Diamondback full suspension mountain bikes. All right, electric pedal assist mountain bikes are e-bikes, the type of bicycle that's designed for off-road cycling just like a traditional mountain bike. The only main difference between an e-bike versus a traditional bike is that an e-bike has a motor and it also has a battery. An e-bike, also known as electric mountain bike, is a type of bicycle that is designed for off-road cycling. Bikes typically have a sturdier frame and suspension system to handle rough terrains as well as wider tires for better traction. E-mountain bikes are a great option for riders who want to enjoy the experience of off-road cycling but may not have the physical strength or endurance to pedal up steep hills or through rough terrain. And traditional mountain bikes, that can also be a good option for riders who, won't, who want to extend their range and ride for longer distance. All right, so we're gonna talk about the good, bad, and the ugly. So the differences between the two, uh, the main difference between an e-bike and a traditional bike is the presence of an electric motor on the bike. An e-bike has a motor that is activated by a controller and is designed to provide assistance to the rider's pedaling power. A traditional bike does not have a motor and is powered solely by the rider's pedal power. Other differences between e-bikes and traditional bikes include speed. E-bikes can typically reach higher speeds than traditional bikes due to the assistance from the motor. Range. E-bikes have batteries that can be charged, allowing the rider to travel longer distances before needing to recharge the battery. Traditional bikes have an unlimited range but rely on the rider's physical ability to pedal. Hill climbing. E-bikes can make hill climbing easier due to the assistance from the motor. Traditional bikes require the rider to exert more physical effort to climb hills. Weight. E-bikes tend to have heavier than traditional, they tend to be heavier than traditional bikes due to the added weight of the motor and the battery. Cost. E-bikes can be more expensive than traditional bikes due to the cost of the motor and the battery. Ultimately, the choice between an e-bike and traditional bike will depend on the rider's individual needs and preferences. E-bikes can be a good option for riders who want the benefit of an electric bike, such as the ability to go on longer distances and have more of a leisurely experience and also a better hill climb experience. Now we're gonna talk about the benefits. So we're gonna talk about the benefits of traditional mountain bikes first. So traditional bikes are often less expensive than e-bikes. Traditional bikes are generally simpler and require less maintenance than e-bikes. Traditional bikes have more lightweight and easier transport than e-bikes. Traditional bikes can be more enjoyable to ride for some people as they offer more pure cycling experience without the assistance of a motor. All right, so the benefits of e-bikes. E-bikes can be easier to ride. If you have a long commute or live in a hilly area, on an e-bike can make it easier to get around providing a boost to your pedaling. They're also more efficient. Because you don't have to work as hard to pedal an e-bike, you can travel further and faster on an e-bike than you can on a traditional bike. E-bikes can be more comfortable. Many e-bikes are designed with the comfort in mind, with features like suspension systems to absorb bumps in the road and upright handlebars that allow the ride to be more relaxed position. They can also be more convenient. 
If you live in a city with limited parking on an e-bike, you can be a convenient way to get around. Now there's a few potential disadvantages to consider when comparing e-bikes to traditional bikes. The cost, that's always the biggest one, cost for everything. E-bikes can be more expensive than traditional bikes, especially if you're looking for a highly quali quality model. Weight, e-bikes can be heavier than traditional bikes, which can make them more difficult to transport or store. Dependency on electricity. E-bikes rely on electricity to power the motor, which means that you need, need to charge the battery regularly. If the battery runs out of power, the bike will no longer be able to be assisted and they become really heavy to pedal. Limited range. Depending on the size of the battery and the type of the terrain you're riding on, an e-bike may have limited range before the battery needs to be recharged. Maintenance. E-bikes can be more complex than traditional bikes and may require more maintenance and upkeep, such as keeping the battery charged and properly caring for the motor. Access to trails. This is a big one. Some trails may not be open to e-mountain bikes, so you'll need to check your rules before hitting the trails. I know around where I live, there's a few trails that won't let you in, but for the most part, most of the trails are uh, allowing e-bikes or warming up to the idea of riding e-bikes there. All right, thank you guys for checking out this video about uh, the comparison between traditional mountain bikes and electric mountain bikes. Uh, so if you like what you saw, uh, hit that subscribe button and comment below uh, anything you want to see in the future. Thanks guys.